Hello friends, so I have my first, maybe, um, 40th anniversary merchandise review. And so if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this probably a couple months, a couple, a couple months ago, a couple days ago, or a couple weeks ago, depending on when this gets uploaded. And I found him at GameStop. This is the die-cast three and three quarter inch stand figure display things that they're putting out alongside the six inch versions for like 50 bucks and then the um obviously the 40th anniversary um figures um so yeah this is super exciting um the packaging is the same but i do love this 40th logo here we are in need of a another a new package design so i'm interested to see if it's going to change in the middle um once we get some new waves in um because it's been a while so that will be interesting if some of the packaging is like th if this red in the black series design boxes and then if other um, moves to specifically 40th anniversary design rather than just slapping a sticker but who knows Hasbro has gotten kind of lazy so um, I would not be surprised if it stayed this way anyways I grabbed Luke they did have all of them there at GameStop I believe but I wanted to get this one because I thought he'd be interesting to review and I love my Luke so um, on the back here we do see all of the other ones that you can get um, which look interesting and that has a reversible uh, backdrop which is what that is saying he is number three Luke Skywalker and then you have a picture of him here um, and so I've kept him in the box just for this intro because he's easy to unbox he just comes out like this um, so here is his okay hold on just a second and I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna keep him in this box or not uh, this review hopefully will help me figure it out so here is the display stand it is plastic I do like that it says Star Wars here and then this uh, it's just cardboard um, but it does look kind of lit they did a good job on the, the design it does almost look illuminated um, and then on the back it said is it was reversible so you get this like really cool shiny metallic -y Luke Skywalker so this would be a really cool thing to display if you had all of them otherwise it might look better this way I'm not quite sure that's I don't like when they give me options like this because then I never know what to do but this is very plasticky it looks here like it can connect to other stands on either side and I believe you can just oh what happened you can do this what does this do I don't know oh oh so what ah okay you just remove the base to flip it around so that's actually really cool hmm I like that option um some people were really unhappy with these and I actually think that it's interesting that they're offering something us other offering to us something other than an action figure so um, I kind of like that idea since we are getting some really nice pieces um he also has a little blaster with an action bolt which looks really delicate actually like it would come off um that's kind of an interesting way to do it but it's just a normal stormtrooper gun um down here i don't know if you can see them yeah we've got some little cylinders and they're taped up um that's interesting let me get these out Okay, so I did get those cylinders out, and at first I thought that they were like canisters that go on his belt. Um, you get five, four of them, I can't count. They actually go down here, I think, because um, he does have holes in his feet, and so therefore you can kind of display him um, with whatever, in whatever way you want on this stand. So they give you four maybe in case you lose some, or if the stand's not close enough, you might be able to kind of merge characters like they could stand in between. Um, that's kind of my thought on that. Um, but here is the actual action figure or the die cast figures, I should say. I mean, he's got no articulation in the legs whatsoever. Um, as you can tell, they're just completely solid. Um, it is metal, so that's cool. He has a gun holster back here, um, and his belt is decently detailed. He's got a stormtrooper belt. Um, his face sculpt is a little bit questionable here. Um, it, he's got a plastic head, and it looks like plastic arms, and the rest of him is metal. Um, I think they missed the mark on this face, honestly. Um, it's just his eyes are a little bit unusual, I think. And then the nose. They always struggle on Luke's nose for some reason. But um, his hair is swooping, which is interesting. His profile just looks very, very wrong. I don't like it. Um, 
but I think the other figures looked better. I picked out Luke because I do like Luke the most, but I'd like to get maybe another one. Um, they are quite interesting, so there is no articulation in the legs here, and the, the arms do move. Um, they are on a ball hinge, though I do, I don't know why they did this. They put paint on the, uh, an incorrect form of paint on the uh, joint here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is rubbing off. It is rubbing off on both joints, so that's kind of frustrating. They know better, um, so anytime it rubs up against it, yeah, that paint is just going to come right off, so um, be wary if you're interested in this figure. <sighs> he has something on the back of him that's like a little hole. It almost looks magnetic. Um, but I don't know what it does. I don't think it does anything. Um, and then he also comes with, where'd it go? This other blaster, the non-firing blaster. So if you're going to put him in a pose, you might want to... I feel like his wrist is really long. Yeah, you can kind of do it like that. So it is interesting. Um, so it kind of looks like that. Again, I think... This one is probably a pass if you're going to have to choose between them. His profile just looks really weird. I'd suggest maybe getting Obi-Wan or Darth Vader. The other ones that I saw looked like they had decent paint jobs um, on the faces. Um, other than this one, this one was the most questionable. But I grabbed it because it was Luke and I wanted to show you guys um, in case you were thinking of buying it. And so um, you can, it looks like you can put the pegs on the stands, which can take a little bit, a little while to, I guess, narrow down because you've got to like line up his foot and then the next one will go see and I don't know how this works because the way I have him set up it's not gonna line up so hmm hold on just a second okay so I did get the um, him, I was able to make him stand um, but I'm not quite happy with the angle this stand is a little bit too narrow to have him maybe facing um, he's also a little bit wobbly, but I think he does look kind of cool behind that Luke. I do like this this picture in the background. At least we have a nice picture of Mark Hamill. And then you can actually put the other gun um, behind him in his belt. I don't know if maybe Leia comes with an application to swing from and then you can pair them up. That would be kind of cool. But other than that, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it up to you guys whether you should buy this figure or not. Um, if you wanted to complete the series, I think definitely on its own, it might be a pass for you. Um, also, if you wanted to leave them in the box or not, um, I do like the display ability. Um, I like that they give you that option and then it's something that you could look at and know that it's the 40th anniversary because they're clearly doing this like black and metallic -y silver um, background and then special emblems. So it is quite interesting and let me know your thoughts below. Do you like this? Do you think it's a pass? Would you get them? Um, how about the other ones? And so I will try to pick up maybe one or two more because I'm still not sure on this. I don't think that this was a good representation of this line. Um, so I might have uh, further reviews coming up for those. But anyways, until then, stay tuned for the ones coming up, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.